Okay, hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Um, first of all, let me start off with two apologies. The first one is for my throat. Uh, I've still not got over this fresh as flu thing. Uh, the second one is for the lack of content. If you've watched my previous video, I kind of explained that I've just moved to university. Things are, you know, there's a lot of work to do. Uh, basically, this one's a really, really quick tutorial, um, and it's for a specific person, but I figured I'd upload it as a tutorial in case you guys find it helpful anyway. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at toggling uh, post-processing effect. Now, uh, what uses, uh, places where you find this useful would be somewhere like if you've got a night vision post-processing effect and you want to make that toggle on and off, this is how you're going to go out doing that. Now, this is my mock-up night vision effect. It's utterly awful. Basically, all I've done is I've put a post-processing effect on the character, made it a bit green, made a bit of grain, grain jitter on there, you know, looks awful, but it, it's going to simulate it. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and start from the beginning. So let me just go ahead and remove this post-process here. And now this is what you're going to have when you open up your blank template. If you've already got a game you're working on, this is totally adaptable to, to what you've already got. Um, so this system can be fit into anything really. So let's go ahead and work from here. So what we've got is we've got our character. So you're going to go ahead and select the character and edit the blueprint for the character. And you're going to want to head on over to the viewport and simply add a component of the type post process. So let's go down and find the post processing. There she is. So you're going to want to add one of these to the character. Now over here, let me just, so you'll, you'll probably see it like this, post process settings, post process volume, and you want to change the settings. So there's, there are other written videos out there, and I'm sure there are other video tutorials out there on how to get the perfect night vision thing. Maybe you want to, you know, experiment with your own. So I'm not going to tell you how to do these settings. I'm basically just going to throw up probably the shittest, basicest, it's not even night vision. It's going to make the screen a bit green, basically. So I'm going to select this uh, scene tint color, make it a bit green. You can see it starts to go green there. Uh, Vigente, I don't know how to pronounce that thing, but we're going to put one of those on. A uh, bit of grain jitter and a bit of grain intensity so it gets a bit, uh, let's see over here, you can see it's a bit blurry, a bit like a security camera kind of thing, night vision, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, okay, so that's the, um, that's the stuff that you'll figure out yourself. You're going to get your own post-processing set up here for that. Um, now, okay, so how do we go about toggling this on and off? Now, I tried various things. I was actually in a lecture uh, and he started talking about something I already knew, so I booted up Unreal and tried to figure this one out. Now, um, I tried various things. So, for example, off the post process, you know, you've got your uh, simple things like toggle visibility, that doesn't work. You can uh, toggle active, again, that doesn't work. But what you actually need to do is, okay, so we're going to bind this to a key. So let's set the key as V. And off the letter V, we're going to go ahead, um, we're going to do a flip flop. Okay, so it's going to be V to turn it on, V to turn it off. Now you might have an if statement, so you might have a if player has collected power up night vision or something before this flip flop here. Um, but we're just going to go straight for the flip flop. And off the flip flop, off A, well off here, what we want to do is set the blend weight. So you want to set that blend weight. Now zero will make it invisible and one will make it visible. So what we're going to do is, okay, we don't want it at 10. But we, this is, it's such a simple blueprint. I mean, I'm ashamed to call this a, tu tu a tutorial, to be totally honest with you. Um, that's it. You simply set the blend weight from one to zero or zero to one, and that will then toggle your post process on or off. Um, so if you want to select the post process and just set the blend weight over here to zero to start with, and you re if you read there, zero, no effect, one, full effect. Um, so that's all we're doing. So we're just going to compile that up, hop into the game, and if I press the letter V, there goes your, uh, there's your night vision effect, or your, you know, I'll be, I hope that you guys find a better tutorial. You know, I'll have a quick look around the web if I can find what looks to be a nice tutorial. I will, um, I'll leave a link to it in the description. You can follow someone else. I'm not going to take credit for his work. I could copy his tutorial and upload it in video format, but that's just, it's not fair. And I don't have time to do it, to be honest. Um, so yeah, go and find a nice tutorial. Go and find a nice post-processing effect that you want to do. And to toggle it, that's it. It's simple. It's it's simply just turning the blend weight from one to zero. Now you can play around with this and experiment more. If you want to have it half on, half off, you can you could set the blend weight from uh, instead of one, you could have it at 0.5. So you can use it to uh, edit the uh, degree at which it's there. So if I set this to 0.5 and do it again, you can see there that it's a lot less intensive now. Um, so, you know, maybe you want to have certain zones where it toggles different things. Anyway, I'll leave that up to you. I've got to go. I've got a lecture in like 10, 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, it's been a really quick tutorial. I'm sorry that it's not, it's not uh, as big or as grand as my other past tutorials have been, but I hope it helps you guys out. And the guy that I made this for specifically, I hope this is the answer that you're looking for to your problem. 
Um, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, please do stay subscribed. I will try and get more content out uh, in the coming weeks, and I'll do my best for you guys. Anyway, that being said, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, I will see you on the next video.